Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today we're going to concentrate a little bit on a certain Halloween bundle. I'm going to touch base a little bit on my witchcraft type stuff, as well as anything spiritual. What you're looking at right now is uh, rune stones that I actually bought a long time ago. Alright, and they, I don't know anything about them, okay, because I don't, like I said, I don't practice or anything. Uh, I wanted them because obviously they were cool to have. There is some um, divination type uh, cubes out there that are very cool looking too. I might delve into those further down the line. But these rune stones are very cool because they have what is called uh, amethyst type colors to them. And these things are hard to grab. Okay. Um, and that's my birthstone. So what I want to do is I'm going to sh show you the actual stones in themselves. They got special markings on them. Hang on, let's just put this down here. Something's going on outside. Alright, that's... Oh. Okay, hang on for a second here. Now you can't really see it because of the lighting here. There we go, maybe that'll do it. And you get what this looks like? Each one of these stones have their own special markings. Okay, as you can clearly see, some of them, but you got to kind of face them in a direction. But they're cool, okay? And I put them in this special little bowl, okay? It's kind of like a, not a chalice, but let me see what that says. World Market, that's where I got this from. Now, in my last video, there was uh, the three little... The wind up toys that I had on here. I don't know if you guys have seen the video or not, but I just uh, got done doing it. Uh, I got those from World Market, and that's what this is from. It's a store that's located here in Greensboro. And every once in a while, they'll have some really cool looking Halloween stuff, different than what you would normally find in most stores. Okay, and that's the bottom of the bowl. I just put my rune stones in here just to keep an eye on. Okay, now, like I said, I don't practice, but I should delve into it just to see what it's like. I'm sure it's pretty interesting, but it takes some figuring out, that's for sure. But anyway, these are my rune stones, guys. Let me just kind of, there you go, that's what they look like, okay? Moving on. Now, these things here are little apothecary jars, or spice jars that I have that I bought from Amazon.com because I wanted to build up my apothecary and that's exactly what I did and I got different jars on that um, anyway uh, like I said I'm just dealing with these here okay hang on I just put this down here real quick and then we're going to stand them up okay these are small little jars you can put little interesting things in it as you can see I've got some different things and some of them actually have actual witches type seasonings that are associated with witchcraft or Wiccan stuff. Yeah, but like I said, I don't practice. All right, so keep that in mind. I just collect it because of the Halloween factor. Okay, and this one here, I believe it is paprika. Okay. Right there, little neat little trinkets. I actually found those at Michael's, or it could be Hobby Lobby. Usually you'll find some interesting things in the back. Enough to fill up your jars, okay? Some more, see, different things. And some of them have spices in them, okay? I wanted to get some vervain, but you have to order it online, and they're in seeds, and then you got to grow them. And then, obviously, you got to break them down to powder. You know, the usual stuff. Didn't want to go there. Now, this right here is marijuana. No, it's kidding. I don't know what it is. I think it might be pepper or something. I'm not sure. Could be rosemary. I don't know. But anyway, these are some of them. Now, I've got some bigger jars sitting on the apothecary. I'll show you the apothecary when the time comes. I'll take a picture of it so you can see all the stuff that's on it. 
But like I said, I'm going through it shelf by shelf on what's going on. Now the last thing I want to show you for this particular bundle, let me put these away first real quick. Bear with me guys. Just gotta put them back on the apothecary. Okay, now I'm gonna show you my athame. Okay. It's not your standard athame. I kind of dressed it up because I didn't want just your standard athame. Okay. I just put some neat little trinkets on it. Alright. Put cool little rubies on it. Stones here. Okay. And that's what she looks like. Okay. Alright. We'll take the knife out so you can see what it looks like. But let me just pull that. There we go, guys. Okay, that's my athame. Now, I actually ordered that on Amazon for like 20 bucks, I think. But it was just the knife itself. Everything else I ordered or went to the store and got. And this right here is a triquetra, I think they call it. But anyway, I end up making these beads and stuff like that. And I do have some pagan prayer beads that I will eventually show you once I go, go around that side of the room. And this little crystal here, I think it's cool. You buy this stuff at the store and just dress it up. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, let me show you what the knife looks like. It's got a cool little handle. Okay. It's got neat little markings on it. You can stab anybody with this. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that. I'd be like, what are you doing in jail? Ah, I stabbed somebody with my FMA. <laughs> but anyway, long story short, I'm going to end this here. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. And then hit that notification bell. Because I will be pushing out some more videos. But in the meantime, you guys have yourselves a good day. This is Pumpkin Horror.